Okay, so after a tremendously long wait time, I'm getting my portable charger and my, uh, how should I say, my um, wall charger from Lectron. I'm getting both of these things installed. But really, it's I'm not actually getting the um, charger itself installed. What I'm actually getting installed is the socket. So the electrician has come by and the electrician has uh, surveyed the uh, property. And uh, basically, he was telling me my um, electric box requires uh, two 40 amp jumpers, basically. So what he had to do is he has to go get the jumpers in order to install them into my electric box. And then on top of that, he has to run the wire from the electric box to my uh, wall because he has to drill a hole in the side of the house. And then he has to uh, basically, um, you know, basically just install the socket. Really, all he's doing is installing the socket. The portable charger can plug into the NEMA 1450 outlet. And the wall charger is going to be um, the main thing that I'm going to keep plugged in. However, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to take the wall charger out if I want to, and I'll be able to plug in a portable charger. I have family who has uh, electric vehicles. I have family with Tesla. I have family who have uh, Mercedes EQS and whatnot. So if any of them visit me, if they visit here, they'll be able to charge their car whether or not they can use a J1772 or not. Because I'm assuming that if they're driving their car, they'd be able to um, unplug this and they'd be able to plug in their portable charger just in case they need to. So that's the reason why if you do buy one of these um, charging systems, my recommendation to you do not have them completely hardwired into your house. Now, the desire to hardwire into your house is because if it's hardwired directly to the house, you get the absolute maximum fast charging. I recommend that you use the socket instead and you get a NEMA 1450 plug instead because this way you're not forced to stick with just one type of charger and... If you need to use that socket for anything else, you can always use that socket for something else. So basically, my electrician, um, you know, he just went to get the wire and um, he'll be back in a couple of minutes and then he's going to do his thing. So um, I'm pretty sure he's going to start in a couple of minutes. He'll probably start about two o'clock and we'll see exactly how long it takes him. And uh, basically, that's the charger right there. And I can't wait to fire this bad boy up and see what it's like and everything. And yeah, it, it supports the uh, 48 amps, but again, it only supports that if it's hardwired. Um, the portable charger doesn't have a uh, LCD display, but instead it just has uh, lights to tell you whether or not there's a fault and make sure everything's okay and make sure everything is okay. You know, it may, just to make sure everything's in the green. So as long as you don't see any red lights popping up and flashing, you're good. But as long as everything's in the green or yellow, everything's fine. So uh, we're going to get this done. We're going to get this done today. It's going to be a little expensive, but you know what? I've, I've waited long enough. So this black cable is the new wire. And as you can see, uh, we're going to replace these uh, bottom uh, 20 amp switches with 40 amp switch. So uh, once again, I don't think you should hardwire this thing. I think you should leave yourself open so this way you have more options. But uh, that's basically, that's the master power in and out. And um, basically, we're going to get all this done. It's probably going to take less time than expected. Okay, so this is the box right here. And uh, as you can see, this is the new wire. Oh, shit. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't touch that. Getting installed right over the garden hose. All right, so let's see how this goes. So that's the NEMA 1450 socket. Okay, so far so good. So the Electron comes with a stencil to allow you to know exactly where to drill the holes. That is the completed socket right there. And um, we're still on the way. We just have to drill holes into the concrete. So um, when all of this work is done out here, I'm gonna end up painting this side of the house. So 
it's gonna look beautiful okay so here's the mounted v box that's the mounted v box now the wire is down there because what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the j hook we're gonna put the j hook into the wall right there so as you can see i got the uh, full nema port opens and closes and uh then i'm gonna put this hook here to keep the uh wire nice and tight okay so this is the uh completed project so as you can see again that's the uh socket with a all-weather enclosure and you just close that up just line that up and then close it all right so that's the socket with the all-weather enclosure this is the electron v box so as you can see you can just pull this off there to expose the lcd screen that's the lcd panel and right here we have i had two j hooks but i only needed to end up using one so this is the j hook and then when you unclick this you're ready to plug your car in so so it locks into place now the secret is that in order to make sure nobody else um you know uses your uh, system you can get locked boxes if you want but me personally i don't have a problem with my uh, neighbors coming over here nobody's coming over here so i don't really have a problem worrying about any of my neighbors trying to come to any of my property and try to use my electricity that won't happen but unless you know that's the power system right there you can push button this now it would have been nice and I'm guessing that probably on the market somewhere, they probably make some of these things that have like a turn key to turn it on and off. But uh, for the most part, it's just push button on, push button off, and that's it. And um, that, that you know, provides power for the system. So that's it. That's my uh, new charging system right there for whatever electric car I get, considering Cadillac is taking freaking forever to get my car to me so yeah so far so good right okay so here you are that's the completed product right there so again you hit the power button electron active and then it tells you how many amps you're running charge time used it, it basically starts counting as soon as you start using it and it tells you about how many kilowatt hours you're uh, currently using it's cold out here 57.8 degrees fahrenheit and it also tells you that you're rated at 40 40 amps so keep in mind inside here there is a switch that you can turn from two to three and when you turn it from two to three that allows you to hardwire this and you can get the full 48 amps personally even though it's a slightly faster charge unless you're willing to just be locked into one specific uh, unit and you're not gonna use this socket for anything else. To me, it just makes more sense to wire yourself for the 40 amps. Because the thing about it is I could always pull this plug out and I could always use it for something else if I so chose to. So that's it for right now. Hopefully I'll be able to actually use this damn thing. Um, still waiting for Cadillac. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to use it. And uh, when I'm able to use it, I'll be really, really super happy that I'm able to actually use the damn thing. So more videos are coming. Um, perhaps I'll also just make one more video to show the portable charger. But um, for right now, um, I'm happy. I've got the socket ready and everything's ready to proceed. To be continued.